Well, it's uh, almost here. I guess a couple yeah. more sleeps. But you'll have to go through this camp, uh, which, you know, a lot of returning players and stuff. How does it feel now to be on the verge of the regular season? Yeah, no, it's crazy. Uh, everyone came back early. We've gotten a lot of good work. And, um, you know, you go through training camp and the exhibition games, just looking forward kind of to, to Wednesday. So uh, it's exciting that uh, we're going to be able to lace them up and play a role in here. I'm guessing you guys probably don't read or listen to a lot of preseason predictions, but expectations are high for the group. I mean, you sort of have to embrace that because it's better than being on, on the other end of what people think might happen. Yeah, I mean, our expectations in here uh, amongst our group are very high. So, um, yeah, you don't listen to the outside. I think you, you listen and control you control in here. Um, like I said, though, I think uh, the expectations that we have for, for our own group each and every day and uh, what we think we're capable of is, uh, is very high, too. Yeah, I mean, um, both really, really good players. Um, Bush creates a lot of offense, sees the sees the game uh, really well, has a, a nice calm poise demeanor to him. So, um, you know, it's fortunate to get out there and play, and play with either of them. But, uh, yeah, going uh, through the preseason and, and getting more familiar with uh, each other's game out there, it's been been fun to, to kind of grow with, Bruce, uh, with Bush. You had uh, George Mumford in town talking to the team a little bit. I know you, you maybe read his book, I think I heard you say. And what was that experience like working closely with him? Yeah, it was pretty cool. I think um, obviously uh, you read books and whatnot, and, and you you feel like you know an author from from the outside. But to actually have him uh, in here in the room and uh, you know communicating with us, interacting with us every day, it was uh, it was pretty special. So had some great insight. Obviously a lot of great experience from his time working with professional teams and uh, professional players. So it was uh, it was really enlightening and, and a lot of fun to have him with our group and pretty eye opening too. Yeah, the mama mentality now or what? Everyone's got a different mentality, right? Uh, don't want to copy anyone else. I know it's. I mean, it's probably some of it's personal, but it, you know, is there something in particular that you take away from some of what he had to say? Like, did anything really resonate with you that, that you're willing to share anyway? That I'm willing to share? No. Uh, <laughs> but no, I think uh, just his perspective and 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 uh, you know, he's worked with so many great athletes and great teams, right? Um, and he kind of. You know, I won't go like too deep into it, but. You know, just sharing some of you know the experiences that those teams had to go through and, and those players had to go through to, you know, uh, get to the next level, so to say, um, and, and win their championships. I think you know it's not always easy. It's it's uncomfortable a lot more times than it's comfortable. And I think uh, for us for us as a group, I think that was kind of uh, you know good to hear that you know the experiences that we're going through, you have to learn from them and grow from them. And um, at the same time, you know, it's it's not a unique situation where. Yeah, I think I mean, I, I've grown up around athletes my whole life and all different types of sports. And at the end of the day, the game might be different, um, but, uh, you know, the training, getting ready, the sacrifice, the, the pressure to go out there and perform, it's, it's all the same in every sport. So I think, uh, obviously, he, he brought that dynamic and is pretty eye-opening, I think, probably for, for some of the guys in the group that, uh, you know, it doesn't matter what league you're playing in, it doesn't matter uh, what sport you're playing in, it's, you know, you go through a lot of the same experiences. And I think that's what makes having him uh, with our group such an asset because, uh, you know, you can, you can rely on those different aspects of just being an athlete and being a person. Um, they translate between sports. Good time of year to do it too, like to have them in training camp and as you're getting going. Year, yeah. yeah, I mean, like anytime, anytime would be good. Um, I think, uh, yeah, it's always nice to have it at the beginning of the year. You kind of get uh, a high level picture of you know, what you want to accomplish over the course of the year. But at the end of the day, um, it comes to the day to day from here. So, you have, uh, we've had some great conversations and, and great, um, you know, uh, some great experiences here over, over the course of camp. but. Yeah, day, it comes down to day to day and uh, taking care of tomorrow and moving on from there. Darnell, from a defensive standpoint, how much different is it when you dress 60 and when you dress 70? Yeah, I mean, it's different. You get, uh, I think when you, you dress 6, you have your partner, you kind of get a flow to your game. Um, when you dress 7, obviously we're all familiar with each other. We've done it enough times. Um, but, you know, you're, you're playing with someone, then you're playing with uh, somebody with uh, a different eye for the game, uh, so it's in the next shift. So uh, there's adjustments that way. Um, but like I said we, we just come in here and whatever is uh, on the board, we get uh, ready to adapt. And I think we've played well doing both.